anyone who's out here who still believes, because it seems to be there are some people who still believe in like saving up and save my money and mm. I'm really diligent, I get a mortgage and in 28 years I might own the pro. Man, it's a trap. All of it is a trap. Have you ever met a rich person, asked them why, how they got rich and they said saving? No. No! This is the Sleeping biggest- Sleeping floors, I worked so hard, I sleep I, so many and floors. I say, and I saved it. And I didn't have that morning coffee, you Yo, know? Yo, complete lie. And everything they teach you about financial literacy is a lie. Everything they teach you about wealth creation is a lie. Everything they teach you about what you're supposed to do with your money and how you're supposed to think is a lie. They get your ass in debt at the very, very beginning. So how did you education. realize all this? How did you realize all this? God has his favorites. No, how did you realize God this? has his favorites. God can instill potential into an individual, but doesn't mean that the individual is going to um, fulfill that potential. Something in the environment has to happen. I operate with divine purpose. Absolutely not. So, <laughs> how, so how did you realize all this? I just, you know, I, I've always my entire life. So I was, my father was a chess grandmaster. I was yeah. a chess player. So at the age of five, I was Indiana State chess champion. And when I was eight, I was on my way to becoming a Fede master. So I was one of those child chess geniuses. I never actually ended up becoming a chess master because we moved to England, my father stayed in America, blah, blah, blah. But I've always been good at pretty, at pretty good at analyzing the chessboard. And even from a very, very young age, I just understood, and I don't know exactly where I got it from, I understood the world is a scam, all of it. I was walking to school one day, walking to college sixth form with my four friends in a Ferrari went past. And I was like, yeah, I was like, bro, how do we get one of them? I said, well, don't know. So what do you mean, Dunno? Doesn't it bother you? He has 400 grand for a car. Doesn't that anger you that he has 400 Gs for a car and our parents are broke or on a council estate? They're like, I guess. That's the average man. Like, the average man has no fire inside of him. I'm 16. I couldn't sleep for three days because I saw a Rari. I said, I want a Rari. I, I want one. Yeah. Now I have four, right? So this only is four? Only, okay. only four, but I have 22 yeah. cars as a whole. So only 22? Only 22. Mm. Sorry. I'm sorry. I hope, you, I, hope you meet, I hope you meet a rich man one day. <laughs> but, um, no, but this is the exact point, right? So I always had the fire inside of me. And what happened is growing up in Luton, especially all the, the Asian boys who were driving these fast cars, when you go to a petrol station three in the morning and a Lambo or Rari pulled up, you know they're, they're done with teaming drugs. Yeah. Like you don't look at them and go, oh, he worked hard in school. Mm, no, no he way. That age. He that No, exactly. So, you, so I always had an intrinsic understanding that the, the only way to truly get rich is to break the system in some degree. You said to me, um, when you had nothing and you were living in America, they couldn't help you. But as soon as you left, the IRS knew how to get hold of you. Oh, yeah. They sure. knew how to pull you. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they know how to find you, ass, when you owe them money. Yeah. But it's, it's never, you know, like if they owe you money, it takes months and months and months to turn up, if ever, yeah. right? But if you owe them money, it's like, woohoo, you better pay us. The whole thing's a scam. It's like the entire financial system, which we can discuss at length, yeah. our entire financial system is designed to steal wealth from the poor and just turn it into numbers on the screen of the rich. Destruction by design. Yeah, oh yeah, it's, the whole thing is corrupt. And, and when you understand the system, you understand that the system is rigged to a point where most people do not stand a chance to ever, ever win. So let's talk about this. In what way is it rigged? It's rigged because, and I, we can go down the economics of it all, yeah, but, my, but my, my very basic premise of it is, is that there's a whole bunch of people out here who are effectively slaves. And when you're, you're a slave, if you have a job in, in any form, mm -hmm. effectively. Some slaves are better paid than others, but most people are slaves. In the days of slavery, what would happen is the slave masters would use control and aggression and influence to convince you to do work for free. So what they could do is they could get work out of you with something that they can generate from the sky, right? They can be aggressive from the sky, influence from the sky, a couple bullets are cheap, whatever it took, and they could get your labor. Now we have the exact same thing, but they just use fiat. They use fiat money. If the people in charge of the world can print unlimited amounts of said thing, and you'll give up your life for certain amounts of said thing, then they own you, they control you. Oh, you need $100 to do this, print. Off you go, slave. It doesn't matter, it's not real. So who cares? So the entire world's a slavery system to some degree. Maybe you can make enough of those dollars and buy your freedom, as I have, right? But in general, it's a slave system.